Hello everyone, this is Richard. Welcome to another edition of Starfield Essentials. I'm outside the Red Mile right now with Marika. I'm here because I got a request from a user on Reddit named uh, Ulf Hednar, and he had watched some of the content and he wanted to know if I might be able to design a ship for a bounty hunter. Uh, I would go to a place like the Red Mile to design a ship. So that's what I'm gonna do. Red Mile is a place where you can get uh, scan jammers, you can get shielded cargo. There it is. Need something for your ship? Yeah, a lot. Now, just a quickly look. I This is my level 120 character. In Starfield, you get access to... Uh, all the ship parts get unlocked at level 60. Now, by that I mean there are still special parts that you need to get at various uh, ship techs. So it doesn't mean I have access to all parts. It just means parts that were level locked. The last level lock um, disappears at 60. And I have uh, 4.5 million credits, so credits won't be a problem here. So the main issue is just going to simply be to see what Lon has available. I don't like to build using a stolen ship. I would prefer to acquire a ship legitimately. So I'm just going to buy this dagger. Super cheap, 48k credits. And I'm going to use this as my base for a modification. Okay. So now I want to like, uh, I'd like to view and modify my ship. Uh, knock yourself out. And we're going to use this dagger and we're going to go into the shipbuilder. Now, as you can see, uh, I'm on Xbox, so I don't have access to any mods. Uh, I am not an expert shipbuilder. I've built probably half a dozen ships in the game. And I know there's all sorts of like cool glitching and duplication techniques you can do even on a console. Uh, but for, for me, I'm just going to keep this really simple because I'm you know, a pretty simple shipbuilder myself. Um, but what I'm going to do is basically just strip this ship down. So let's start adding pieces now to this ship. So I'm going to start with Habs. I'm leaning from this bounty hunter, maybe do a little bit towards the Hope Tech angle. So let's see. I mentioned that I wanted to have the brig be the center of this ship, and that's going to be a two by two, I believe. Well, that that's no good. I was really hoping that I could do it here with this guy. So I'm going to have to go someplace where I can get those uh, two by twos. Maybe I'll go to uh, Hope Tech itself. Okay, so let's do that. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cancel and I'm going to exit and I'm gonna cancel the modification. So I'll just keep the ship. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Before I leave here, I'm gonna add the scan jammer and the shielded cargo that I wanna add on the other ship. Okay, so now I've got some shielded cargo options. I've got my scan jammer. And that'll work. Yep, don't care. Anything I can help you with? Need some work done? Yes, I'd like to view and modify my okay, ships, please. No okay. All right, so we're back in the shipbuilder. Let's see, let's check and uh, see if we can add a have that, yeah, here we go. All right, I see the two by twos now, that's what I wanted. There's the brick, okay, good. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna strip this ship apart now.
Okay, so we have the brig. These are the other parts that I'm thinking about having in this ship. Thinking about having an armory, uh, a workshop so that the bounty hunter could modify their spacesuit and uh, weapons. Uh, thinking about having uh, possibly an infirmary so they could take care of any injuries that they have. Uh, and I'll probably need a captain's quarters and probably an all-in-one berth. So I try not to have ships that are multiple levels. So I'm going to see what I can do without having multiple levels for now. So we're going to start with the Habs. Of that stuff now we need let's see what they have for landing gear here Let's see if we can put engines on the back. Oh, hold on. That looks cool. I like the look of that now.
Okay, now let's add some weapons. Anything I can help you with? Hey, what can I do for you? Okay, no problem. That's interesting. Okay, that's a glitch. <laughs> that is a glitch. That is not supposed to happen. Huh. So the back wall is like... Yeah, did you hear that? That's weird. Oh, that's a disappointment. I didn't want that to happen. I can literally walk through this wall. I can't access the captain's locker though or the armillary or cargo 
because this back wall is glitched. I do like entering from the front, a little more convenient. And I do like those Tayo. Oh no. <laughs> uh, okay, I have to fix that. Uh, all right. I have a porthole right where the entryway should be. I can fix that pretty easily though. This is the Relentless. This is the bounty hunting ship that uh, Reddit user Ulf Hednar asked me to build. This is the final version of the ship with all the components in the places that I hoped to have them. I made a few more adjustments to adjust or to change the way the interior layout worked. And I'll show what those are now. So the first thing I did was I put the captain's quarters above the main level of the ship behind the bridge. I thought that made a little bit more sense. Second, after you come in from the docker, I put the Hoptec armory. So uh, we found that the armory contains a mini brig. So this is not a bad place to uh, keep a prisoner when you've taken them from a ship perhaps. Behind that, we now have the all-in-one berth where the crew can be. The core of the ship is still the same two by two brig. And the habs on the port side of the ship, I now have the infirmary two by one. And behind it is the workshop two by one. And I think I may have misspoken earlier. The workshop is where you get the workbenches where the bounty hunter can uh, work on armor and gear and that sort of thing. The armory is just a place to store weapons. And of course, we know that, at least the case of the armory and the brig, these are more decorative and roleplay features of the ship. Right now, unless you're using mods, they don't really do a whole lot other than set us up for perhaps some future changes to the vanilla version of Starfield. I also wanted to quickly talk about the components that I used on this ship. So we have, as the bridge, we have a Daimyo enhanced cockpit. We're using a Shipbed 200 landing bay, also from Tayo. We have a Hope Tech docker out to the uh, the fore or the bow of the ship. Using Hope Tech landing gear, I have two H40 Atlas HE3 tanks, each one with 550 grav fuel. For engines, I have four SAE 5660 Slayton aerospace engines. Each one has a max power of three, so I can use. Uh, four of them for a max power of 12. The grav drive is a Slayton SGD 3300. And the reactor is a Xiang Pinch 8Z reactor. I have some shielded cargo here and here. And then I have some Galleon S201 cargo unshielded. I'm also using two uh, Dagama 1020 cargos, one here and one on the other side. Strictly for decoration, I kept this Deimos cowling from the original ship that I deconstructed to make this one. 
Uh, also for decoration, I have a Stroud mid bracer. As far as the weapon loadout goes, I have three turrets in the slot position, uh, slot three position that is. I have uh, three Eradicator 75 MEV auto neutron turrets, one uh, facing towards the stern, and then I have two facing uh, forward. I also have a set of uh, particle beam weapons that I control manually. These are facing, I have uh, all three of them facing uh, towards the bow here, here, and here. And then because I thought a bounty hunter would probably want to use EM weapons to take targets alive, I have two of these uh, Sh Shinigami Supaku 250 GC suppressors, one on the port and one to starboard. The shield that I'm using is this sextant shield system that I got back when I was at Hope Tech. I also have a uh, multi-frequency scan jammer that I got when I was first trying this build at the Red Mile. And I believe that is all that is involved with the construction of this ship. So with that, why don't we take a look on the inside of the ship? Well, before we go in the inside, let's take a quick look on the exterior. I think the ship has a pretty distinctive look to it, which I think is cool. I know there's probably some shipbuilders who um, put a lot of thought into how they want the ship to look before they build. I'm not at that level, um, so I have to sort of build a little bit more organically and see what parts are available and see how they go together and then just try to do the best that I can. So I kind of like the way that this looks. I might try adjusting the paint a little bit later. I was trying to go for that sort of bounty hunter look, but there's always room to tinker. So now let's go inside the ship. We are facing the stern of the ship. And as we take a look around, we can see that we are in the small compartment that makes up the two by two brig. And there's a weapon rack as soon as you enter. And if we head towards the, uh, let's see, this is facing towards the bow. So the port side over here, we have a door that enters the infirmary. So here's where our bomb talenter would go if they were injured. There's Marika, doing Hi some there, research, Captain. apparently. Hey, Marika, do some research for us. So this is interesting. There isn't a connection directly back from the infirmary into the weapons uh, workbench and uh, workshop area. So to get to that area, we have to come back through the brig, pass by one of the cells here, keep heading towards the stern, and now we turn, and here is the workshop area. We have Sarah working at the weapons workbench. We have a spacesuit workbench and we have an industrial workbench. So given that this is just a random storage wall, I would have preferred that there had been a, a uh, entryway here from the infirmary, but that's okay. Now we're headed back towards the starboard side of the ship, pass through the two by two brig, face towards the bow, and now we are going through the armory. In the armory, there is a single holding cell, which again is convenient for our bounty hunting purposes. Heading back towards the stern, we're going to enter into the uh, two by one area, all in one for the crew. So this is where the crew would hang out. They have their bunk beds, their facilities. And then finally, to get to the bridge, we're going to make use of this ladder go up the ladder because my jumping and jetpack skills are not that great. The ladder drops us off inside the captain's quarters, which is convenient, I think. Captain has his own floor. There's a captain's bed, desk, captain's galley, I guess. All right? Shouldn't that uh, be functional, I would hope? Maybe not facilities and then from there we go forward into the Tayo bridge. I like the Tayo bridge. 
think it's got a clean look. It's got a lot of space in it. And there you have it. So this was the Bounty Hunter ship build requested by Alf Hednar. I hope you like the ship and I will see you in the Starfield. <laughs>